uh, good morning. My name is Sohail, and uh, I'm a PhD student at LTU. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the project Phase 2 Surface 2, uh, which is under the supervision of Hawkins Shunison at LTU. And uh, other partners include LKB, Epiroc, and AGO. The project aim is to uh, increase the production uh, capacity and to reduce the production cost in sublevel caving mines by optimizing fragmentation. And uh, in relation to uh, SIPstream agenda, it has some objectives which include uh, integrated resource characterization, uh, improved mining techniques, uh, more efficient and computative processes, and digitalization. Uh, these objectives are intended to be achieved through different work packages. Uh, first three work packages are about uh, preparation, management, and literature studies. Uh, the fourth work package is about chargeability, which is completed and uh, presented last year. I'm going to talk about uh, work package five, six, and seven here today. Uh, work package five is uh, about reduced environmental impact. And uh, to reduce the environmental impact, that means to reduce the uh, ground vibrations. And for that purpose, uh, blast hole diameter was reduced uh, in one of the ore bodies at Malmbury Iron Ore Mine. But it has effect on the fragmentation as well. To see that effect, uh, cameras were installed in one of the ore bodies to record the whole loading operation and to see what's going on, actually. And, uh, the fragmentation was divided into five different classes, depending upon the median size particle. Uh, the graph shows the frequency of different classes coming from different blast hole uh, diameters. But uh, the results were not so conclusive because of the bad geology and uh, smaller data sets. So we are uh, now doing the similar studies in one of the other ore bodies to have more data and to have uh, more conclusive results uh, for this work package. Work package six is about improved ore pass efficiency, and it's about uh, uh, installing and evaluating some alternative fragment, uh, fragmentation control methods to reduce the boulder problems, the pieces which are bigger than one by one meter in size. And in the blast hole reduction studies, we found that by reducing the blast hole diameter, it reduces the boulders as well, but it's not that much significant. And the ore passes are also co uh, now covered with the grizzlies to stop those bigger pieces going into the ore passes because they damage the ore pass and sometimes they block the ore pass that causes the maintenance and production issues. Uh, so we are now right now uh, looking for some alternate method how to deal with those bigger uh, pieces of the rock. Work package seven is about uh, improved production area efficiency. And uh, um, the goal is to develop and evaluate some large-scale model for uh, the rock mass characteristics based on the drill monitoring data. And uh, the methodology is divided into five different steps, of which the three steps, data extraction from XML files coming from the drilling equipment, uh, noise elimination, and uh, uh, files combination is achieved so far. And the next two steps are right now uh, going on, and these steps will produce some graphical user interface for the end users so that they can see the rock mass properties and uh, improve the production planning. Next step uh, is about uh, the results of these work packages that we are uh, doing right now, like the description of the whole dimension effect on fragmentation and uh, installing and evaluating some alternative fragment control method, and the last one is uh, utilize, uh, utilization of large-scale rock mass characteristics for the production planning. Uh, the project was supposed to be completed uh, uh, in the June uh, this year, but uh, due to initial delays in recruitment of PhD students and stuff, uh, there is now extension of six months, and we are hoping to achieve these targets by the end of this year. Thank you so much. Thank you, Suad.